Welcome to the Batch Data Analytics Workshop. In this workshop, we'll look at an online user interface to batch analytics for fault detection and quality parameter prediction in a batch operation. We'll show the interface that an operator would be provided when batch data analytics is installed on a, on a process. The uh, example we'll use here is a, a two-unit uh, process, a saline process, in which manufacturing of saline is done in a batch operation. In the first part of our exercise, we'll look at the user interface, the summary overview. We'll then drill in and look at uh, the information provided the, to the operator in terms of looking at a fault and the contribution uh, to a fault, and then look at how quality parameter uh, prediction is done. We'll then do a number of exercises where we're introducing faults to demonstrate the interface. The uh, process that is dynamically simulated is the saline process in which consists of a mixer and a blender. In the mixer we're adding in water followed by addition of salt, then heating up uh, the mixture, agitating that, and then after a period of time that is then uh, transferred over to our blender uh, process. Uh, in the blender process, the uh, liquid is then cooled uh, by a media, and then uh, we are then adding additional water to achieve a, a target concentration. And after some mixing, then that is then transferred to the product uh, storage. Uh, in the dynamic simulation, we have it set up where we can introduce faults to demonstrate uh, the way those faults would be displayed in the user interface. The uh, user interface to Batch Data Analytics is a web-based interface. Uh, the overview of uh, the Batch operation uh, shows the status of uh, different applications that are being monitored by Batch Analytics. If a fault is uh, indicated, uh, then uh, that shows up in this overview. Um, the batch and its status, whether it's complete or in process, and the state of processing is uh, shown in this overview uh, screen. So by uh, looking at this, then uh, an operator knows uh, whether further um, further exploration is needed if there is a fault uh, that has been detected uh, or quality prediction is indicating uh, the product is going to be off specification. During uh, normal operation there won't be any faults de uh, detected and so uh, he'll have okay for both fault and quality. For normal process uh, then uh, normal processing uh, the T squared and Q statistic will be below a value of 1, indicating normal operating conditions in the batch. And as you see here in both the mixer and the blender, uh, the process was determined to be operating normally uh, for this particular batch that we're looking at. By clicking on the uh, quality parameter tab, we can then see the prediction of quality throughout the batch and in this case the product specification is shown in green the upper and lower bounds on that and the dark uh, black line in the center is the predicted value uh, the lighter uh, band about that is the uh, confidence interval for the the prediction itself so it's, uh, normally then uh, the value will lie within this confidence interval and uh, the predicted uh, value at end of batch is uh, always displayed. When uh, we have a, a batch that is in process that is running as is shown here, then we can look as the process is progressing where there's a fault indicated. So T squared and Q are calculated from the very beginning of the batch and at any point in the batch where there's a fault, an operator then becomes aware of that. Also, the quality parameter prediction starts at the beginning of the batch, and uh, if the predicted value varies from the standard, then uh, the operator would be notified of that. So uh, to uh, demonstrate what an operator sees under fault, we're selecting a batch where a fault was detected. And as we see here, 
the uh, Q statistic was about above a value of 1. By clicking on this, we can see that the main contributor to the fault is the uh, discharge. By clicking on that, we see a trend of, uh, of that parameter and its historic normal value and the normal range of variation shown in blue. The black is the actual value. So immediately the operator knows that something isn't right in terms of the transfer and could take action on that. In this case, it may be some plugage in the line or a pump uh, problem that is uh, causing uh, the uh, lower than normal flow rate on transfer. There is no impact on quality as you might expect uh, since the transfer only extends the batch so it would impact production but it wouldn't impact quality so we correctly indicate that there is no impact on the uh, quality. Let's look at a, another fault where we have a bridge in our salt bin so we're no longer getting salt flow that's normal. When we get to the point in the batch where salt is added, you notice there's a major deviation in uh, both the T-squared and Q statistic. By uh, clicking on that area and then uh, selecting the major contributor, we see that the normal level of the uh, mixer is quite a bit lower than what would be expected after salt is added, indicating that we didn't get the salt flow that was required. So by knowing this, an operator would have enough information to save the batch, maybe add more salt, and uh, correct the situation uh, where, in this case, uh, salt impacts the quality or our concentration. That's correctly predicted uh, by the um, uh, quality parameter prediction. So he would know the impact of that fault immediately on the final value of his uh, quality parameter. So let's look at one more uh, fault. And um, in this case, we're looking at uh, the media temperature used to, to heat uh, the liquid in the uh, mixer. Uh, so at the point where we're supposed to be heating, you notice there's an indicative fault. By clicking on the media inlet temperature, which is the major contributor to the fault, then we see that the temperature of the media used to heat uh, the mixer is quite a bit below its normal value. So this will definitely impact the process in terms of extending the batch. Uh, and uh, will have an impact on production uh, that can be achieved. By looking at our uh, quality parameter in this case, we see that there is no indication of impact on the, uh, the quality since this will only extend the batch and will really have no impact on quality. I hope uh, this demonstration of the online batch analytics interface has been helpful to you and gives you some ideas in terms of how this can be used to improve a batch operation by allowing the operator to be constantly aware of any fault and its impact on quality parameters.